Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Four Happy Hippos family. Hooray! Hey guys, thanks for hopping on this video today. I am going to be showing you some tips and tricks um, that have helped me a lot in learning how to style and care for dolls with curly hair. Whether that be dolls like Lainey who have just normal curly hair or dolls like Becca who has really kinky curly textured hair. When I first got Lainey, I was so afraid of messing up her hair. I was just constantly in fear about doing something wrong to it that I would never be able to fix it. Um, and that really stank. So my hope for this video is that if you're kind of like I was, and kind of get afraid when you see this kind of doll hair that you'll be able to use these tips and tricks um, to your benefit so that way you can go forward confidently and be able to enjoy your dolls to their full potential. Whenever I do doll hair, I always love to have a wire wig hairbrush on hand. Um, I got this one from American Girl and it has served me very well. I've had it for like six or seven years now. I don't like to use my own hairbrush on my doll's hair because the oils from human hair will get onto the doll hair and it can dry it out. So, back pocket tip. Also, I use these clear elastics every single day. They have saved my life many a time in doll hair and as also in stop motioning. Um, whenever I need the dolls to hold something, I always have them on hand. So before I take her hair out and just show you how I curl it, this is actually one of my favorite hairstyles to do on Lainey's type of hair because it's just really sweet and spunky. All you do is you take their hair that's curly and pull it up in a clear elastic. Super easy, super cute. So thankfully right now Lainey's hair still has some good bounce to it from the curls that were in her ponytail, but especially after a long humid summer, I always have to recurl Lainey's hair um, just because the humidity zaps it. And so I use foam rollers from the dollar store or American Girl sells some as well. I spritz her hair with water, get it damp, and roll it up and leave it in overnight and it restores it to pretty much back to normal. Let me tell you, it saved Lainey's hair many, many a time. <laughs> But for my lady, most of the time I don't have to totally recurl her hair with curlers. Um, I like to use what's called a brush curl. So you take your doll hairbrush and just find a section of hair that you would like to curl. And then starting from the bottom, work the tangles out using your brush. And I like to start at the bottom of the hair and then work my way towards the top because it helps it not break as many like flyaways and loose ends. Then you just twist the hair on your brush into a little spiral and then gently let go and it should turn into something kind of like this. So most of the time I like to alternate between brush curls and finger curls. So for finger curls, you just do the same type of deal. You section off a piece of hair, comb it through with your fingers, and then twist it around on your fingers instead of a brush. And the different look that you achieve with this is kind of a more um, ringlet style defined curl. So if you want to add texture to your doll's hair, you can do a mix of both brush curls and finger curls, and it can turn out really, really pretty. So that's what I like to do most of the time on Lainey. A trick I learned recently is that if you curl the front curls in her face away from her face, then it will frame her face better instead of blocking her head, um, which kind of looks like this. So that's just a little trick that has helped me with doll hair and my own hair, um, is just to curl the curl away from the face. The thing I love about finger curling is that it's super easy to make little tiny adjustments to specific pieces of hair that aren't just curling correctly. Um, so you can kind of get this really awesome full curl look on your doll's hair just by using your fingers. So with Becca's hair, where it's really textured and really, really curly, it's so much fun. And I love that even just having her hair down is a hairstyle in and of itself. So it's super easy to take care of. Um, most of the time, I just try not to mess with it a whole lot. Um, just because I want it to have that same kind of crisp curl look to it. But um, I have learned that the pick that American Girl recommends that you use on curly hair, for me, I haven't been able to get it to work for Becca. Um, I tried using it on one of her curls, and I don't know if I was doing it wrong or what I was doing but it actually ended up really frizzing the curl and I just didn't like the way it looked so it might work for you for me I just use the finger curling method on Becca's hair and it's really awesome because the same finger method that we used on Lainey works on this kind of hair as well so you just pick one of her curls and twist it around until it looks like a nice new curl <laughs> Another thing I love to do in Becca's hair is add ribbons as headbands. Um, and this is super easy, but really spices up any outfit. Um, I just tie a ribbon like smack on the top of her head, and it looks really cute. 
I think clips are really fun in this kind of year too. This clip is from Lady's Butterfly Outfit, but it's just a simple, cute little clip, and we can pop it in Becca's hair. You can use some of the curls in front and pull those back and clip it, or you can just, you know, pop it in her hair anywhere, and it looks really cute. Kind of the butterflies just sitting there. There are lots of different other kinds of clips too that you can find. My favorite hairstyle to do on Becca is two pigtails. And so you take two clear elastics and just gently put the elastic on. I don't even double loop these elastics. They're just on Becca's hair. So it's so easy. You literally just pop an elastic onto her hair and then automatically she has these adorable low pigtails with these curls cur coming out the front of her hair. And it's so cute. I think it's so, so fun and really like has so much personality to it. Um, so my Becca wears these all the time and I love it so much. Sometimes when I take her hair out of these pigtails, if they've been in for a really long time, her hair will kind of have this like creased look to it because, you know, it happens when you wear ponytails. Um, so if that happens, what I'll do is I like to run my hands through her hair and just kind of floof it up a little bit. And for me, that's always worked in getting the creases out and it looks brand new after I do that. Sometimes if I want her hair to have a lot of spunk, then I'll floof it up a whole lot. And other times if I want it to just be a little bit more relaxed, then I'll pat it down with my hands. And I love that there's so much variety in this type of hair. It's really, really fun to play with. So, yep, these are just a bunch of tips that I have found so helpful to me as I've learned how to take care of dolls with curly hair. So I hope they were helpful to you as well. And if you have another tip on how you care for your doll's hair, let us all know in the comments. I would love to hear how you do it as well. Have fun with your doll's hair. I am so excited. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I love you. And when in doubt, you can always just add a hat. Ha <laughs> ha